How's it going doing here and welcome to another top five video. Instead of talking about like an entire anime like before, let's talk about like in the individual characters, specifically Yandere's. Before we get the list, how about we talk about the characters that didn't make the list on to the honorary mentions. For these honorary mentions, I only have two because I have, because, just because. The first one is Kurumi Togasaki from Data to Live. And it was difficult to take her off the list since she is technically my favorite Data Live character. But compared to the others, it just didn't fit as much. The next character, next honorary mention is Lucy from Elfin Lead. Lied. Lead. However you want to say it. And one more thing, I'm pretty much going to have to spoil the anime these characters are in. So, to explain their yandere tendencies. But just be warned that there is going to be big spoilers on... Uh, there's going to be big spoilers. On to the list. Number five. Megumi Shimi Shimizu. From Shiki. Also, I will not be talking about like summaries for the anime just because I don't really need to since I'm talking about the characters, not the anime. Nothing says crazy in love like stalking your crush even after you die, which is exactly what Megumi does because she gets transformed into a vampire and watches her crush outside his window again. She's getting closer and closer each time. On to number four. Number four is Yuno Gasai from Future Diary slash Mirai Nikki, however you want to say it. The poster girl of Yandere's. Yes, I only put her at number four because, well, she did kill herself, sort of. If you took that out, took out, like, her big moment of big, her big surprise, then it would just be a normal yandere thing, so protecting her guy from other women, even a guy. And it can get confusing with the different worlds thing. It's been a while since I've watched it. I should probably rewatch it at some point. On to number three. Number three is Kotonoha Katsura from School Days, the anime. I just say the anime because it's also a visual novel. Because it's also a visual novel. Uh, Roge, I guess. While she wasn't the one to kill the main guy in the story, she did kill the girl that killed him and then checked if she was actually pregnant in, the, in a most very yandere like way. Afterwards, and afterwards, takes the guy's head with her to sail on a boat and ends the anime. Thus ends the anime. I mean, there's nothing else to say about that. On to number two. Number two is Mion and Shion Sonozaki from Higurashi. I kind of had to include both for this because they're both equally insane. From Shion having her nails torn out by Mion to atone for her grievances. And then there's crucifying Sotoko with the most horrifying sound effect. Safe to say they kind of deserve to be high up on the list. On to number one. Number one is Sato Matsuzaki from Happy Sugar Life. Now, I did a video before on, on this about this anime, and you can go watch it if you want, but that's not what this is about. This is about this specific character. The big reason I put Sato, Sato here is because I believe she is the true yandere of yandere's. Not for gruesomeness, but for how her personality fits to how a yandere is meant to be. She protects Shio. And will literally do anything to keep her relationship with her. Shio doesn't even know Sato is a yandere by keeping that part of her away from her, unlike Yuno, which everyone knows would be it, is she that she's crazy. And she is calm about her crazy ten, crazy tendencies, and you don't usually see them. She isn't m mostly aggressive with her craziness. She threatens before acting instead, and is able to work herself around the pro around all the problems, aka but aka the people. The nail in the coffin, though, is that she gets Shio to jump off a burning building with her to keep them together forever, if you know what I mean. Also, there is her thing with her aunt, never named, who has a distorted view on love being accept being accepting everything, if you can get what I'm trying to say there. Her aunt thinks love is accepting every single thing, no matter what it is, even if it's abusive. That was my top five yandere's in anime. What do you think? Do you agree with me? What would you put on here? Let me know in the comments. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos and I hope to see you next time. See ya.